Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're heading on site to do a Unify Access install. We have three Unify Access intercoms, eight Unify G2 Reader Pros, and some intercom viewers. Now, most of this video is time lapse with a little bit of voiceover. Unfortunately, the week of the install, I had lost my voice. Without further ado, let's jump right into the install. All right, everybody, we're here now at the job site, and this is going to be the first door that needs to be done. This is into the building, and you can see they have an intercom here already. We're going to be replacing this with the Unify Access intercom, which is going to be really cool. Um, so let's go in. I'll show you a few of the doors, and then I'll show you the network room. So this is a door that's leading into the employee area, which goes towards the kitchen. And this will be doing with the G2 reader, uh, which will also have the camera. So it will be the pro version. All of them are gonna be the pro. So it's gonna be uh, all the black pros with the microphones and the cameras. Off to the right hand side, we have another couple doors. So we have a door here. And then we have one more door, which we've already run the cables for. They do have this nice wire tray that was running all the way along. And the network room is upstairs. So you can see we have a coil of cable just sitting there. And then on the outside, we have this other door that's leading into the building. You can see the reader's a little low. They do want another intercom on this back door. There's a total of three intercoms that are gonna be going into this building. Now we're on the second level of the building and all three of these doors are gonna be getting a G2 Reader Pro. You'd see the readers are currently right here on the metal. So we're gonna have to end up dremeling this out a little bit so that the readers fit. And we have another door over here. Same type of idea, we'll have to dremel it out. And the last door will be in the server room. And here's the server room. So we need to unlock and then we'll go inside. Now it's gonna be a little bit windy in here. The server room actually looks really good. Uh, we have our Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. That's gonna be hosting our Unify Access. We may eventually put it on the UMBRs and they have the enterprise switch up top. And this is our backboard that we're gonna be putting the enterprise access hubs. We currently have these key stand access control systems, which will be ripped out. But now we gotta go ahead and wire some cabling in. With the Unify Access Enterprise Hub now mounted to the wall, we're going to put a PVC pipe in and it's an inch and one quarter. This way we can route our cables down and it will look clean. The cabling is run down the pipe and we need to terminate the CAT6 cables and I'm using just RJ45Ns and terminating in T568A because that is the best standard. Next, we need to connect our strike wires into the access hub, and I'm using a ferrule crimper. This crimper was a little bit cheap and didn't work too well, so we just ended up taking the ferrules off and then putting the conductors right into the ports. We have the hole drilled out now and Jay's putting on the faceplate. We got to put the Access Reader G2 Pro on and then get it all cabled up back at the Access Hub.
Now it's time to get the intercoms installed and on this front door, we're using the intercom sun shield. We actually have the sun shield on all of the doors and then on the back door, the warehouse door, we're using the intercom surface angle mount as well as the sun shield. Me hello. I'm gonna unlock that. And that's going to be it for this video on the Unify Access installation, and I'm really happy with how this job turned out. The Unify Enterprise Access Hubs are great to work with and make the install look clean. I also really like the intercoms and the intercom viewers. With Unify Access, we have lots of ways we can open the doors, including entering a code using a FOB or a access card, QR code with the intercoms, as well as Unify Identity free version on our phones. More Unify Access videos will be coming to the channel that will go more in depth, including cutting in door strikes and how to do all the wiring. Also watch out for my video on the new Unify Access Ultra that should be releasing in a few weeks. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.